Hello, I'm Clyde Clark, president of Bartolini Pickups and Electronics. I'm an engineer, a woodworker, a passable musician. I'm a professional geek. And today I want to talk to you about impedance and what that means in guitar pickups and all your onboard electronics, preamps, buffers, um, all that sort of thing, EQ. Um, in my last video, we talked about pickups, how they work, and that pickups are part of an electronic circuit. So typically, a circuit starts with a power source. So a battery for DC circuits, an outlet for AC circuits. But in a guitar pickup, the power source is actually the combination of the pickup and the vibrating string. And it doesn't create much power. A circuit is very much like a racetrack with hurdles, where the current is the runner. Now, in an electrical circuit, there are three types of hurdles, which we geeks call impedance. Resistance, capacitance, and inductance. Pickups, EQs, preamps, and even your cord have all three of these types of impedances. Resistance is anything that limits current flow. Capacitance is electronic charges that build up. A lot of musicians, of course, are very concerned about their chord. Well, not that chord. This chord. That's because your chord has capacitance in it. And that capacitance is going to reduce high frequencies and make your tone a little warmer. Inductance is the storage of current in the magnetic field that's created when the current, like your guitar signal, starts to flow in the circuit. Something strange happens. Watch. The wire and nail together are called an electromagnet. This is different from the magnetic field of the pickup's magnet, and that's an important point. So when you play your instrument, your notes are constantly changing. So that means your frequency is constantly changing. And so therefore the impedance that's a result of the capacitance and inductance is constantly changing with the frequency change. Resistance doesn't change with frequency. The impedance from inductance increases as the frequency increases. And the opposite is true for capacitance. The impedance from capacitance increases as frequency decreases. When the current is low and the hurdles are high, we call that high impedance. When the current is high and the hurdles are low, we call that low impedance. Many people ask about the DC resistance of pickups. As we discussed, that's really only part of the overall impedance. A higher DC resistance may result in a warmer tone, but that depends entirely on the capacitance and the inductance. A higher DC resistance really just gives you a feel for the thickness and amount of wire that's inside of the pickup. In the next video, we're going to talk about the importance of high impedance and low impedance. And in the guitar pickups world, that often translates into passive and active. So, thanks for watching. And remember, music is art for the ears, and tone is its colors. Thank you.